Hello and welcome to iTenor. Do you want to know about the poorest countries in the world? The world has enough wealth and resources to ensure that the entire human race enjoys a decent standard of living. Yet, people in countries like Burundi, South Sudan, and the Central African Republic continue to live in desperate poverty. For other likely contenders for the undesirable title of the world's poorest country, Afghanistan, Syria, and Eritrea, years of political instability and conflict make it impossible to even attempt an assessment due to the lack of reliable economic figures. So how do we determine the poorest countries in the world? While GDP per capita is often considered the standard metric, compensating for differences in living costs and rates of inflation by using purchasing power parity (PPP) can better assess individuals' buying power in any given country. Before getting into the list of the poorest countries in the world, let's first understand the concept of GDP per capita and how a country is ranked on this basis. GDP stands for gross domestic product, which measures a country's goods and services produced yearly. Its population must also be considered to get a clearer picture of how rich or poor a country is. Therefore, divide the GDP by the total number of people in the country to get GDP per capita. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Sometimes the GDP per capita only tells us part of the story. That's because the cost of living and inflation rates can vary a lot from one country to another. That is where PPP penetrates to make a fair comparison. PPP stands for purchasing power parity and considers the local costs and inflation rates to give a more accurate picture of the standard of living in different countries. Some countries might have artificially inflated GDPs due to being tax havens. GDP per capita PPP is a helpful tool to pinpoint the poorest countries in the world. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Let us hear you in the comment box below where you are watching us from. These are the poorest countries in the world in 2024 by GDP per capita PPP as estimated by the International Monetary Fund IMF as of May 7th, 2024. Let's begin with Yemen, the 10th poorest country on the list. This country of roughly 35 million is one of the most impoverished on the Arabian Peninsula. Has been embroiled in conflict since late 2014 as a result of the power struggle between the Saudi-backed government and the rebel Houthi movement. The war has claimed the lives of more than 150,000 people, shattered the economy, and destroyed critical infrastructure. As a result, today in this oil-rich land, over 80% of the population lives in poverty. Years of civil war, political instability, and economic collapse have ravaged Yemen. The conflict has displaced millions within Yemen's borders, crippled infrastructure, and disrupted agricultural production. Necessities like food, water, and medicine are in scarcity and millions rely on humanitarian aid like the UN for survival. The Yemeni people face a multitude of challenges, including widespread hunger, malnutrition, and a resurgence of diseases like cholera. There are glimmers of hope with international efforts to bring peace, but the road to recovery will be long and arduous. The country has a GDP of 16.94 billion dollars. Yemen is ranked the 10th poorest country in the world with GDP per capita of $2000. Another country taking the 9th position is Madagascar with GDP per capita of $1980. Madagascar is an island country on the southeastern coast of Africa. Since its independence from France in 1960, it has gone through many political crises and military coups. Relatively good political stability and the current constitution were formed in 2014. Although the country is rich in political resources, internal instability, external interferences, and limited harnessing of these resources exist. Mining and tourism are the two big factors that contribute to the GDP of the country. Elected in 2019, President Andriy Rajoelina came to power promising to tackle corruption, reduce poverty, and develop the economy. Mostly, they turned out to be just that. promises. Madagascar still holds one of the highest poverty rates in the world at about 75%. Growth is sluggish and inflation stands at nearly 8%. Still, Rajo Olina was re-elected in December 2023. To be fair, the country was also faced with an unprecedented series of challenges. Along with the economic and social consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic, when in 2022 grain deliveries from Ukraine collapsed following the Russian invasion, food prices skyrocketed. deepening the suffering of the citizens of the island. In addition, Madagascar ranks among the top 10 countries globally most vulnerable to climate hazards, with drought, floods and cyclones resulting in deaths and population displacement and damage to homes, infrastructures and crops. 
Next is Liberia with GDP per capita of $1,880. Liberia's enduring poverty stems from violent conflicts, including civil wars and outbreaks like Ebola, leading to unstable infrastructure and limited services. Forced migration disrupts agriculture, contributing to food insecurity. International organizations like the World Food Programme strive to alleviate poverty and improve the country's future through sustainable development efforts and investment in education and healthcare. Africa's oldest republic has ranked amongst the poorest countries in the world for many years. Expectations were high when the former football star George Weah became president in 2018. His years in office were instead marred by high inflation, unemployment and negative economic growth until in 2023, he was defeated by opposition leader and former Vice President Joseph Boakai in a new round of elections. Boakai might have it easier than Wea, after contracting in 2020 and 2021, growth restarted in 2022. It is now projected to reach about 5.3% in 2024 and to stay above 6% in the years ahead. Malawi is 7th on the list, with GDP per capita of $1,710. Despite its beautiful landscapes, Malawi, located in southeastern Africa, grapples with significant economic challenges. The nation relies heavily on rain-fed agriculture, making it vulnerable to climate change and fluctuating commodity prices. Nonetheless, the government remains committed to promoting economic diversification, improving education and healthcare, and reducing poverty. One of Africa's smallest nations, Malawi's economy, largely dependent upon rain-fed crops, remains vulnerable to weather-related shocks. Food insecurity in rural parts is extremely high. Malawi has enjoyed stable government since it gained independence from Britain in 1964. However, in 2020, the Constitutional Court and old former President Peter Muthrika's win in the general election citing vote tampering. Theologian and politician Lazarus Chakwera, who was sworn in his place, declared that he wanted to provide the kind of leadership that makes everybody prosper, but structural changes have been slow to materialize. Today, Malawi is grappling with an economic crisis that has led to fuel shortages, a surge in food prices, and a sharp devaluation of the currency. In 2023, according to the World Bank, over 70% of the population was estimated to be living below the international poverty line. Another country taking the sixth position is Niger, with GDP per capita of $1,670. Niger, a landlocked West African country, faces economic challenges and high poverty rates due to limited natural resources, frequent droughts, and a predominantly agricultural economy. With 80% of its territory blanketed by the Sahara Desert, and a growing population reliant on small-scale agriculture, desertification poses a significant threat. With 80% of its landlocked territory covered by the Sahara Desert, and a rapidly growing population dependent upon small-scale agriculture, Niger is under threat from desertification. Food insecurity is high as are disease and mortality rates. Recurrent clashes of the army with the Islamic State affiliate Boko Haram have displaced thousands. In 2021, Niger inaugurated a new president, ex-teacher and former interior minister Mohamed Bazoum, in its first democratic transfer of power. With the economy expanding by 12% in 2022, things appeared to be looking up. Yet, in the summer of 2023, Bazum was ousted and imprisoned by members of his presidential guard. The military junta has remained in power ever since. Next is Mozambique. Mozambique, a sparsely populated country and a resource-rich former Portuguese colony, faces poverty due to natural disasters, disease, rapid population growth, low agricultural productivity, and wealth inequality. Despite its resource richness and strong GDP growth, the country remains among the world's poorest, exacerbated by attacks from Islamic insurgent groups in the gas-rich north. Rich in resources and strategically located, this former Portuguese colony has often posted average GDP growth rates of more than 7% in the past decade. Yet it remains mired among the 10 poorest countries in the world, with severe climate conditions and political instability being some of the main culprits. To make things worse, since 2017 attacks carried out by Islamic insurgent groups have plagued the gas-rich northern part of the country. Still, according to the IMF, the economy remains in high gear. It will expand by about 5% in 2024 and 2025, and it is projected to reach double-digit growth in the latter part of the decade. With GDP per capita of $1,650, Mozambique takes the fifth position of the top 10 poorest countries in the world.
Democratic Republic of the Congo is fourth on the list with GDP per capita of $1,550. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or the DRC, the biggest country in sub-Saharan Africa, faces profound economic challenges despite its wealth in natural resources like cobalt and copper. Most of the population lives in poverty, with around 62% of Congolese living on less than $2.15 a day. Malnutrition, limited access to education and healthcare, and high fertility rates further exacerbate the country's poverty and development constraints. Since gaining independence from Belgium in 1960, the DRC has suffered decades of rapacious dictatorship, political instability, and constant violence, making it irregular in our rankings of the world's poorest countries. About 65% of the country's roughly 100 million population gets by on less than $2.15 a day. Yet the World Bank says the DRC has the resources and potential to become one of the richest countries in Africa and a growth driver for the entire continent. The country is already the world's largest producer of cobalt and Africa's leading source of copper essentials in the production of electric vehicles. Third on the list is the Central African Republic with GDP per capita of $1,120. The Central African Republic, situated in Central Africa, grapples with profound economic challenges due to political instability, armed conflicts, and inadequate infrastructure. The country's wealth in gold, oil, uranium, and diamonds contrasts starkly with the widespread poverty experienced by its citizens. The combination of price increases for essential goods following the war in Ukraine and severe flooding and drought cycles has further exacerbated the car's economic struggles. Rich in gold, oil, uranium and diamonds, the Central African Republic is a very wealthy country inhabited by very poor people and have been among the poorest countries in the world for the better part of a decade. For the first time since its independence from France in 1960, in 2016 the Central African Republic has democratically elected a president, former mathematics professor, and Prime Minister Fostan Khanj Twata, who campaigned as a peacemaker, who could bridge the divide between the Muslim minority and the Christian majority. Yet, while his successful election has been seen as an important step towards national reconstruction, large swaths of the country remain controlled by anti-government and militia groups. Despite problems and setbacks, in recent years growth has moderately picked up, driven by the timber industry, the revival of the agricultural sector, and the partially resumed sale of diamonds. Now is the time to move to the second on the list, but before that if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Second on the list of the most poorest countries in the world is Burundi, with GDP per capita of $915.88. Burundi, a small landlocked country in East Africa, confronts significant socio-economic challenges, including political instability, conflicts, and inadequate infrastructure development. The nation's economic struggles and the hardships faced by its citizens are further exacerbated by rapid population growth, with approximately 80% of the population reliant on subsistence agriculture, food insecurity is remarkably high compared to other sub-Saharan African countries. Tiny landlocked Burundi lacks natural resources and has been scarred by a civil war lasting from 1993 to 2005, whose aftermath is still a contributing factor to its ranking of the second poorest country in the world. With about 80% of Burundi's roughly 13 million citizens relying on subsistence agriculture, food insecurity is almost twice as high as the average for sub-Saharan African countries. Furthermore, access to water and sanitation remains very low, and less than 5% of the population has electricity. President Evariste Ndeshimiye has made an effort to relaunch the economy and repair diplomatic relationships, and in 2022 both the US and the European Union resumed aid after lifting financial sanctions. Unfortunately, while growth is picking up, inflation is projected this year to be around 22%. South Sudan is the world's poorest country with GDP per capita of $455.16. South Sudan, the world's youngest country, gained independence in 2011, but faces significant economic challenges. Political instability, ongoing conflicts, and limited infrastructure hinder its progress. With a majority relying on traditional agriculture, violence and extreme climate events often disrupt farming, perpetuating poverty in this landlocked nation of about 11 million people, the very poorest of the world's poorest countries, South Sudan has been racked by violence since its creation in 2011. Rich in oil reserves, the landlocked state of roughly 15 million represents a textbook example of the resource curse, whereby abundance fosters political and social divisions, inequality, corruption and warfare. 
The majority of the population is employed in traditional agriculture, although violence and extreme climate events often prevent farmers from planting or harvesting crops. This year, estimated 9 million people, over 60% of South Sudan's population, will be in need of humanitarian assistance. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. You can also watch my other top 10 videos on the screen now. Thanks for watching and bye for now.